Today we honor reggae legend Gregory Isaacs. Gregory Isaacs was born on July 15, 1951 in Denhamtown, Kingston. When he was 17 years old, he made his musical debut as Winston Sinclair with the song Another Heartache. Through his later hit My Only Lover, Isaacs is credited as the father of Rocksteady. His 1982 studio album Night Nurse is to date his most popular body of work and contains the beloved single of the same name. This Reggae Month, we salute Gregory Isaacs. Police have identified two men who were shot dead at Trout Hall in Frankfield, Clarendon on Friday. They are 55-year-old Donald Richards, otherwise called Mackie, an auto body repairman, and William Sharp, 38, a construction worker. Both were from Trout Hall. An elderly man, said to be about 70-year-old, was also injured in the shooting, the police said. Reports are that all three men were at a garage in the community when two white motor cars, one believed to be an Axio, drove up to the location and the occupants opened gunfire at them. The now deceased were hit all over their bodies and the now injured man shot in the shoulder. Richards, the police said, died on the spot while Sharp and the elderly man were transported to hospital where Sharp was pronounced dead. The police said the injured man was stabilized and transferred to another hospital. A suspect who was being sought by the police for the shooting death of a man in St. Mary on Thursday morning is now in custody. Investigators said that the man surrendered on Thursday evening and that a house belonging to him was also searched, resulting in the recovery of an illegal firearm and approximately 30 rounds of ammunition. The suspect is to be questioned about the shooting death of Ryan Prendergast of Belfield, Penn. Prendergast was killed after he and another man reportedly picked apples from a property in the community. As they were leaving, they were allegedly confronted by a man who claimed that he had leased the land and questioned them about the apples. The police said that the suspect reportedly pulled a firearm from his waistband and opened fire in the direction of the men hitting Prendergast in the upper body. Prendergast was pronounced dead at the scene while the other man managed to escape. The Area 3 Narcotics Division seized over 1,200 pounds of ganja valued at approximately $12 million during an operation in Little Park District, St. Elizabeth, on Saturday. The police say between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m., they carry out an operation in the area and upon their approach, four men ran from a site and escaped in bushes. The lawman said the ganja was seized and destroyed while no arrest was made in relation to the seizure. Two police officers assigned to the Morgan's Bridge Police Station in Grange Hill, Westmoreland, received injuries when a 17-year-old escapee eluded them on Friday night. He has been identified as Denardo Brown of Big Bridge in the parish. It is unclear what offense Brown was picked up for, but it is reported that the teen is still at large. Reports from the police are that on Friday night, two officers were on station guard duty and when one of the officers was in the process of removing a male from the cell, Brown and two other prisoners pushed the man onto one of the lawmen, causing him to fall to the ground. In that moment, Brown took the opportunity to escape. He ran out of the cell, made his way up a flight of stairs at the station that leads to the upper floor of the building, before making his escape over a fence at the back of the station. Two other prisoners who also attempted to flee during the melee were caught by the officers and were subsequently returned to their cells. The incident has left one district constable nursing injuries to his back and the right side of his eye. Meanwhile, the other officer received injuries to his right wrist. The police said a search of the area was conducted by the patrol team, but Brown was not spotted. Three men were arrested after they were reportedly found with five stolen goats in their possession in Downs, Manchester, on Saturday morning. A police source said a farmer reported that five goats were stolen from a property in Alligator Pond, Manchester, 
sometime Friday night. The police, acting on information, went to Downs about 8 a.m., where they saw four men and the stolen goats. Three of the men were apprehended, while the fourth man ran and escaped. Four of the five goats were found alive, and the farmer alerted. A police source said two of the men are age 28, while the third person is a 59-year-old man. The men are from the communities of Sea Air, Emporium, and Precious Plain, all near the Manchester-St. Elizabeth border. This latest recovery of stolen goats is the third pradial larceny bust in the past month in Manchester. On February 1, three men were arrested and charged after they were found with over 600 pounds of stolen carrots and Irish potatoes. A man is dead and a firearm seized following an alleged shootout between a gunman and police at Mexico Heights in Trenchtown, Kingston, on Thursday night. The dead man has been identified as 22-year-old Orette Robinson, otherwise called Ash, a promoter from Phase 7 in Arnett Gardens. The Independent Commission of Investigations has launched a probe into the incident. Reports reaching the local media are that around 10 p.m., a police team was on foot patrol in the area when they observed a group of men standing along a pathway, acting in a manner that aroused their suspicion. The police reportedly called out to them, and one of the men pulled a firearm from the waist of his pants and opened fire at the team. The cops took evasive action and returned gunfire at the man. The police said after the shooting subsided, the said man was seen lying on the ground, suffering from what appeared to be gunshot wounds and clutching a firearm in his right hand. The firearm was retrieved and turned out to be a 9 millimeter pistol with a magazine attached containing one round of ammunition and another round in the breech. The make and serial number of the firearm were not visible. The police said the injured man was rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Nobody move. Give it to me one time. Give it to me two times. Give it to me three times. Give it to me four times. Winston Foster, famously known as Yellow Man, was born on January 15, 1956, in Kingston, Jamaica. He grew up in a tough neighborhood in Kingston and faced many challenges in his early life. Despite being abandoned by his parents at a young age due to his albinism, Yellow Man found solace in music, particularly in the sounds of reggae. Yellowman began his musical journey by performing at local events and talent shows, where he quickly gained attention for his unique style and charismatic stage presence. His breakthrough came in the late 1970s when he started recording singles, which gained popularity across Jamaica. His raw talent, coupled with his witty and often controversial lyrics, helped him stand out in the competitive reggae scene. In the early 1980s, Yellowman's fame transcended Jamaica, and he became one of the first dancehall artists to achieve international success. His album Zungu Zeng gained widespread acclaim and solidified his reputation as a trailblazer in the genre. Yellowman's infectious energy and distinct sound captivated audiences worldwide, earning him a dedicated fan base and numerous accolades. Yellow Man's impact on reggae music cannot be overstated. His bold lyrics addressed social issues, while his infectious beats brought joy to listeners everywhere. He paved the way for future generations of reggae and dancehall artists, inspiring them to push boundaries and stay true to themselves. Yellow Man's legacy continues to resonate, and his music remains timeless. As we celebrate Reggae Month, it's impossible not to pay homage to the legendary Yellow Man, whose contributions to the genre have left an indelible mark on the music industry. 
With his unmistakable voice and unparalleled stage presence, Yellow Man captivated audiences around the globe, spreading joy and positivity through his music. Yellow Man's journey from the streets of Kingston to international stardom is a testament to the power of resilience and passion. Despite facing adversity, he never wavered in his pursuit of musical greatness, and his perseverance paid off in ways that continue to inspire generations of artists. Through his infectious beats and thought-provoking lyrics, Yellow Man brought attention to social issues, while also creating anthems of celebration and unity. His music transcended borders, bringing people from all walks of life together in harmony. As we reflect on the rich history of reggae music during this special month, let us remember Yellow Man's contributions and the profound impact he has had on shaping the genre. His legacy lives on through his timeless music, reminding us to embrace our individuality and spread love through the universal language of music. Rastafari! Lord of mercy, you are. I yell up on the kiss of dawn. Then I yell up on the book of the dawn. Italiano Rastafari. Lord of mercy, a girl, Chuck Fender. No for no. I yell up on the big sun down. Then I yell up on the bad good bad brown. Sagittarius, dark of the town. Fool, we are no circus clown. Ooh we, ooh we, baby, ooh we, ooh we, baby. Nobody move, nobody move. Give it to me one time. Give it to me two times. Give it to me three times. Give it to me four times. 